What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another gaming channel. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Dead Living Zombies. I'm gonna be playing these last three pitches from Guy Marvel. Yeah, Guy Marvel. That's his name. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm going back and forth on this. Like there, like I'm. It's kind of like the last one. Like I'm enjoying pieces of it, but overall, it's just this is dumb. It feels like this is ad. I feel like the only DLC add-on that they actually really tried on was Hours of Darkness, which I guess even then there wasn't a whole hell of a lot of story, but there was just something about that one that worked. These are just, we're going to be dumb and over the top and not give you anything. It's it's like, I would pay for Hours of Darkness. These, no, I, w I wouldn't pay for these. It's If I wouldn't have bought the, the DLC, pack, you know, if I wouldn't have gotten the season pass, I wouldn't have bought these. So. That's that's my my stance, but let's, let's hop into this. You're not my driver. Uh, yeah, hi there. I'm Guy Marvel. And first off, it, it is an honor to be pitching to an award-winning visionary director. Uh, it's another nobody with an idea. Picture this. It's a national park. It's peaceful, serene, yet yeah, like your typical normal day. We follow a good old American family. The hero should be a park ranger. But it, it's about a family. So you're just going to tell me your idea and I'm supposed to shut up? I, I, yeah, Pretty much. You can make it about a park ranger. Yeah, that, that's fine. This, though, look, it's all about the message. Climate change. A heat wave thaws out a strange ooze. It's tanked in rivers, the soil, the animals, you name it. After decades of Mother Nature getting royally fucked, she is giving birth to zombies! Uh, this is one of those movies. <sighs> Damn right it's one of those movies. It's gonna add a couple extra commas in our bank accounts, huh? Fine. I'll entertain the idea of doing lowbrow garbage. So our park ranger hears the distant scream of a family. He's got to go check on him, right? Killer climate. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we start in the park ranger's tower. I have a better idea. What if the main character was the owner of a bar? You see, the zombies consume the life essence of the living, but they don't live themselves. I'm seeing a place where they can relax. They're zombies. I, I think you're giving them a bit more brain function than they actually have. Even the smallest creature with the smallest brain can appreciate art. Uh, W.T. Fuck, dude. This is a zombie movie about, about the environment. Can I just walk you through my idea? Nobody really owns ideas, but fine. On with it. Actually, I like that zombie bar idea. That was cool. This park ranger, and we come down from our tower. Hey, you said something interesting there. The park ranger had to come down from his tower. Have you ever read my manifesto? I, I bought it, but look, I haven't finished it yet. Been busy, you know, life. It's, uh, some sort of saber tooth. Ah, fuck me. Could go this way, see what's... So our hero decided to take the longer, safer footpath to the cabin. Typical American. Choose to stay safe. Don't waste your time with any challenges. It's just a path. Also, I didn't know that that was the option I was making. I was just seeing if there was something to explore. And find, or whatever. Ooh, a bridge. There was a wolf on that bridge. Let's get a shotgun out just in case. Nope, that's Wolverine. And they're like honey badgers in Far Cry 4. Let's just not uh, and then not deal with it. Cross paths with a zombie bear. I'm not surprised. Was it supposed to be a surprise? No, I think it was just supposed to be a. Hey, let's see how many like weird mutated animals we could throw into this. For the love of God, die! Uh 
Oh, wow, I've got... Finally. I didn't realize my bow had, uh, had explosive tipped arrows. Now you're gonna cover the fact that why why does this park ranger have a grappling hook? I guess it makes a little, makes sense for a park ranger to have a grappling hook, but I think this story would be better told at night. No, man, it's gotta be during the day. The audience has to actually see the environment. This whole movie is a message on the environment. But the darkness at night is more ominous. I want it to be set during the day. They're, they're really trying to give me a seizure. I'm gonna just have to put my foot down. This whole movie takes place over the course of one day. Got it? That's Christ. Fine. That'll make shit interesting. My head hurts a little bit after that. Here it is. Near the house, the ranger sees the source of the problem. It is the toxic goo. It's infected the fresh water and created zombies! I like what we've built so far, but now I'm not really seeing the whole goo thing. I think if we crop out all of your ideas, we have something. I think we can take this idea and merge it with the ideas in my artistic manifesto. Maybe even show my book. What? Whatever, man. Fine. Oh, these are two, like, egomaniacs pitching ideas to each other, aren't they? <laughs> Are they collected or something? I shot your book. Remember that family? Yeah, well, they're dead. I thought we got that plot line. Ah. Okay. Sorry, my grenade tipped uh, thing, but you're uh, you're getting traded. I don't know why I'd go fight those zombies. Let's just keep moving. Just finish this shit already. I'm done. We done. I think there's more we can do with the ending. What ending are you envisioning? Uh, whatever. And by now in the film, it's night. Ah, why? It's foreshadowing impending doom. You want doom? How about adding a fucking blood dragon here to fuck them the fuck up? Really? Really? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna reference that for no reason. And of course, I dropped my, my ex- firepower there. Kind of, I'm kind of mad I dropped my explosive. Oh, I like it's the American flag. That's cute. I don't see any. Oh, F. Hot order of zombies coming up! Would there be a weapon right 
here. Look, I get it. It was uh, probably the, mo the most popular Far Cry DLC ever. I'll, I'll admit, far uh, you know, Blood Dragon, amazing. Still, this is absolutely necessary. In a car. Seriously, though, was the blood was the blood dragon necessary? He's in the car driving toward. I don't fucking know. You hijacked my idea and and made it a masterpiece of shit. And you're the most annoying person I've ever met. I might be annoying, but at least I made it in Hollywood. Oh! You fucking fuck! I'm gonna make it, asshole! Security! Get me away from this fuck face! <laughs> He's calling security on himself. <laughs> Alright, so this next one we're gonna... It, we're, he, um, he's gonna pitch a zombie movie fused with the Fast and the Furious. Is that, that it? A racing horror movie masterpiece. Ha -ha, it's, a, it's a pizza! Uh, I didn't order a pizza. You didn't order a movie pitch, but I brought you one anyway. Picture this. We're in paradise. I mean, like, what could be better than a brewski and a babe on a sunny beach? Ugh, I don't feel so good. I think I had too much to drink. Ah, you're a zombie. So he's pitching Dead Island. What's going on? Whoa, I'm like infected. Now I forgot to tell you, our dude bro hero is the best fucking chemist in the world. He's got like Nobel prizes and shit. He's got to get to his lab at the hospital. It's a race against the clock. I can make the cure or he breaks. This is bonkers, but I'm hooked. I, I mean, I, I mean, it's not a horrible. I've seen movies with worse setups, but still. We start at the beach. This is Dead Island. Have that much time to get to their lab. Much time? A hero should have practically no time. Oh yeah, yeah sure. Uh, whatever. So yeah, the the hero has to go through a trailer park in flames. I like that it's not a typical zombie setting. Uh, I don't know. I yeah, maybe with all this action, the, the critics won't like it. Fuck them. We should only care about the audience. Reviews mean shit. It's butts in the seats. As somebody who writes reviews, I thank you. Nah, they're they're right. Don't cheap out on a race against the clock. Give me a real car. Okay, I like this director. You seem to have lost some steam. All right. <sighs> Look, I. The last person I pitched to really fucked with my head. <sighs> got me thinking about giving up the dream. Ah, you met a monster. Next time anyone acts like a monster to you, become the bigger monster. You're right. All his ideas sucked. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I like this lady. Like. Car wreckage everywhere. Perfect for a thrill ride. See, I was big mutated zombies, behemoths. The hero should avoid them. The clock's ticking. Yeah, every second counts. If the main character hits them, they'll explode. See, I, I'm seeing like I was expecting like a like a like a true like Fast and Furious or something, or like a speed reference. If anybody knows that horrible horrible movie. But the vi the vibe I was but it, it, seriously this feels like Dead Island. We need a cool moment here. Uh, how about a construction site? Our hero hits the jump and wham! There's an explosion. What caused it? We don't have time to see. 
Hey! <laughs> so then, our hero sees the mutation stations filled with the gooey shit that's turning people into zombies. Where are these things from? A countryless evil corporation. That's a smart move. This way, no country or people are made out to be the villains. I'm serious. Is, aren't they just basically ripping off the Umbrella Corporation? Landslide! Boom! Time-wise, the hero's starting to turn into a zombie. We got laboratories is labeled. And so the driving sequence is done. There's a roadblock. Time's ticking away. And he'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Uh-oh! There's soldiers protecting the hospital! And they see our hero as just another zombie. Yeah, they don't know that he has the zombie cure in his brain. Well, guess what? I already killed one of the soldiers and it was awesome. We, uh... We, we, doing, we doing some shooting. I just totally whiffed that shot, and I'm just gonna... Wait a minute. How would these guys not be able to figure out that I'm not necessarily... See, uh, how, how would the soldiers know that I'm... that I'm... not a person? I mean, as... Uh, yeah, I probably look like a zombie, but I still, I'm using a gun. How many zombies in this game are using guns? Until he's full zombie. He makes the cure, stops the zombie outbreak, and ah, remember that girl? He brings her back. He's able to turn all the zombies back into humans. Even the zombies he shot or blew up or ran over. Fuck yeah! Total happy ending. Boo! Brilliant. It'll need a polish, but I want to direct this. That day changed my career. My first screen credit and paycheck. Based on idea by God Marvel. I still think that was his. That might have been his most straightforward and stupid idea. Well, actually, no. I don't think he could have gotten more straightforward than the first pitch. But still, it's like, oh, well, all this. Oh, this guy just happens to be the world's greatest chemist. Ugh. All right, let's let's get this one going. Our mutual friend said we should meet, so we're meeting. Sir, I have to say, it is an honor to be pitching to the king of the monster movies. You done kissing my ass, or should I book us a room? Come on, kid. <laughs> Picture this. A top secret lab. Alarms are blaring. Something's gone wrong. Blood splatter here and there. All over the walls. Chaos. But we don't see anybody or anything. Just shadows. We smash cut to a red phone. It's ringing on a nightstand. Our hero's gonna pick it up. Yeah, she's a badass woman in a quiet suburban house. Yes, Mrs. President? Shit, our hero's so important that she has a direct line to the president? The president goes, there's been an incident at a secret lab. If it gets worse, the world will end. Our hero says, on it. You got me hooked so far, kid. This is one of those one of the bunkers from the 
from Far Cry 5. The thing our badass hero needs is at the drop point. Including a gun, ammo, and a sweet jet ski provided by the US of A. I fucking love jet skis in movies. Or at least that's what that place looked like. These big industrial pipes that are leaking this uh, zombie making goo. Our hero gets near two lovers in the moonlight, having a little dip. Zombie bear attack! Yeah, well, we don't. Uh, we don't have time to deal with that. So then we'd see uh, uh, the weird moose. No, wait, it's a zombie, zombie moose. Well, they're finishing each other's sentences. We can amp it up and hint what we're gonna see at the secret lab. Right, 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 right. And, and uh, there's a there's a container and goo is leaking out of it. Yeah, a bunch of hunters who were camping there are now zombies. You know, you got that you got that one that one movie, you know, done and everything, and that's great, dude. But uh you know, it's great that you were able to get that you get off my shooting blind. Damn it! What? It's not fair, they can climb. No, I, you, you know, you'd think after he got that first that first movie published, or whatever, that the uh, he couldn't use the those uh, mutation stations to use their terms. He would he wouldn't be able to put that in another film. Where the f am I going? The hero walks by a small tent. The fire's still going, but there's no sign of a camper. Except a trail of blood. Following the trail of blood, we find... A zombie moose going to town on this camper. Oh yeah, I love it. Those things are fucking huge. So what the hell did I get out of that? And now, our hero sees they're almost at the base. The anticipation is killing me! Everything da, na, na, has been ba, na, na, building da, na, na, up to this moment! Alright, you know, I, I feel like they, they actually put some work into the first, the first couple. Like, movie, like, the first couple movie pitches I felt like had some, had some, had some interesting ideas. But now it just feels like they've gotten really lazy. Because these two that are apparently going through, if you ask me, are the worst ideas. Or at least the most straightforward ones. There's a crash chopper there, right? Of course. No survivors. Yeah, these are the bunkers from... These are the Seeds bunkers from the base game. Hero sees blood and guts. No, it should be R rated blood and guts. <laughs> what about unrated, vomit inducing, burned in theaters, blood and guts for the Blu ray? No 
we need here? An obstacle. All right, so far, we've got our hero guns blazing the hell out of everything. Huh. So they, they just have to find a way out. Okay, okay. So, so then we see a zombie wolf just going to town on someone. I'm talking all-you-can-eat zombie buffet. Okay. Well, it's dead now. How do I get through there? There we go. Okay, we need a big scare here. Perfect time for a behemoth zombie! There we go. It's dead. Then our hero walks into a room that's for experiments. Oh, yes, I love it. We had the mystery at the start. Now we're paying it off. It's, it's a secret underground lab, right? Uh, we should feel trapped. Uh, uh, what's that word? Uh, uh, kleptophobic? Claustrophobic. This company is doing some seriously fucked up shit. Seriously, so, so it's Umbrella. It is ripping off Resident Evil. Find my way through. <laughs> You're dead. Our hero finds a locker room filled with blood. We're getting close to the finale, kid. Make it a weapons locker. Oh, hello. So it's basically giving me my choice of weapon. Do, 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 do. What else do I want? Actually, I like what I have. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, actually, I'll go with what I got. Mutation station right in the middle of the room. No dialogue needed here. Fuck, I love that there isn't much dialogue in this movie. It's just this badass character solving a mystery and kicking Get ass. Seriously, I mean, if you just want to make a movie without any dialogue, just make a Left 4 Dead game. And before I get anybody saying Left 4 Dead had dialogue, Yes, I know. I'm just kind of being an asshole. I still really like the shadows on the zombies. It just really gives them that... Oh, F me. 
It really gives him the, that that dark complexion. But at the same time, uh, well, this isn't necessarily what I would call like a scary game. I, I I find like a lot of like zombie like survival games aren't scary unless they're doing like jump scares. Like Left 4 Dead, not a scary zombie game. Maybe when you're dealing with what were they called? Were they were they called witches? Still coming. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it's I mean, it's coming from further below. Yeah, I, I can't I can't remember. I think they were called witches. I think that was the that was their their name. Th those ones were pretty freaky. But all in all, the so our hero gets to the edge and says, "I guess no good deed goes unpunished." And plunges down below. Our hero sees the source of the zombie making goo. And she's gotta blow that shit up. Uh huh. She is willing to make the ultimate sacrifice if it means the world will be a safer place. That's why people go to the movies to see heroes do shit exactly like this. There we go. Fire and smoke. We see our hero. Yeah, nothing can stop this badass woman. Our hero goes home after a long night of saving the world. And just as her eyes close, the bedroom door opens. It's her kid. Good morning, Mommy. Our hero smiles. It's fucking beautiful. I love that. <laughs> a terrible idea for a film. The emotion, the everything. This is going to be an award-winning franchise, kid. Budget for a movie like this is huge, and you've never directed before, right? I made video games. Worthless. What about directing something as a trial? Yeah, I'm down for that. Trials, Blood, Blood Dragon, Blood Dragon. So, how do you feel about Montana? Oh my God! Ah, that's a nice tie-in right there. That's how it, it it. Oh, that's cool. How it kind of it, it gives us the idea of how. So, so the movie he's shooting at the end of. In Far Cry 5 is that film that he just pitched. The um, we saw. I I think people were saying that that this was like they they teased the new Blood Dragon with that. I I don't know. Uh, all right, guys. Well, there was that was Dead Living Zombies and well, I guess the the final DLC for Far Cry 5. Uh, tell me what you think. I mean, I I, I, I like this. I'd put this one. I'd put it Hours of Darkness. This one, Lost on Mars. I, I, the reason I put this one above Lost on Mars is because I mean this one was dumb and had no point, but it was kind. Of, it, but it was upfront with that. Lost on Mars really just didn't. I, 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 re, I like the only thing that was keeping me was the uh, was the comedy. With this one, I enjoy. I seriously enjoyed the action, the plots, and everything. It was and while they were dumb, they were still fun. Uh, so, I don't know. Tell, tell me what you guys think. Uh, like I said, that's the last little bit of Dead Living Zombies. Uh, plenty still more to come this month. That's a very odd way to say that. But either way, uh, what all do we have this month uh, coming up? We got Spider-Man coming up uh, at the end of the week. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I don't know why that wasn't coming to me. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4. FIFA 19. Yeah, it would be FIFA 19. And Life is Strange 2. Uh, I'm also contemplating playing the new NBA 2K game, but I'm going back and forth on that one. Uh, so there's still plenty of stuff to go see. There's the weekly show that goes up every Saturday, or usually every Saturday. This uh, this week I was kind of uh, kind of lazy. I slept in most of my Saturday. Uh, but I want to say thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links to stuff is down in the description below. Like, comment, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name's AJ Gels. This is the Game Channel. I'm out.